They are very pretty, honey. Another great find. Very different. Oh, were they magnetic? I don't know. I might have to test those wires. Never seen wires like that. <clears throat> this is pretty blue. Now the copper's coming through on this. You can see it. And the metal is darkened at the neckline where somebody's worn it against their neck. It's double Rolo chains. Let's see if I can get it to where you guys can see. It's darkened and then it starts getting a lighter gold color. We've got these beautiful cavachons that look like moonstones here. And then these are acrylic, pure opaque blues. Very pretty. What we got going on here? Yeah, it's a long one. There we go. Very pretty little necklace. Love the blue. That's a beautiful cobalt blue. Let me see something. Yeah, it's magnetic. It's got a base metal in there. Sure looks copperish here, and then it graduates to a more golden color, brassy gold. It's pretty. Trade you. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, I can see why you wouldn't hand me this. <laughs> this is gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful beads, multi-layered. And then it's on this cord with a tassel. And you could change that out if you want. I call those Shambhala bracelets. I guess do we have Shambhala necklaces because that works in the same way here. You can adjust the length. So, very pretty. Very good shape. The tassels are in good shape. The cord is in good shape. It's nice. Very pretty. Mm -hmm. And this is a artisan made piece by M. It's a clay piece. It's on a cord. I'm just gonna hang this one up with this one, honey. Okay. Right now. That's pretty. It's another artisan piece, and oh, look at the little flowers. Oh, I love that. The back is pretty too. It's on this green cord. Green for spring. Precious. I'm going to put that up here too. The next one is Lobster Claw Clasp. Very pretty little fasted bead on the extender. Here's the chain. Chain has some wear on it. Very pretty around the neck. These are glass beads. Very beautiful. Oh gosh, I love the colors. Jewel tone. Very, very pretty. I love this necklace. Bag it. Bag it. Bag it. That is so pretty. The colors of those glass crystals are just beautiful. This is very pretty too. This is a seed bead. That looks like it might be silver. 
glass. It's tarnished. Yes, it's part 925. So the glass was silver. It's just very tarnished. It's a little seed beads. And then you have this button pearl here at the end. Very well made. Very minimalist. But very pretty. Understated elegance. Bag it. Bag it. We have a wire necklace that's in it's held its shape. It's got a lobster claw clasp with an extender. It's very tarnished. These are I think these are acrylic beads. I'm going to put that in the craft lot. Oh, these are pretty. This is tagged. It is Express. It's got some wear on the tag, wear on the chain. Lobster Claw Class has some wear on it, too. Needs to change that out. The beads on this is very pretty. Silver and gold tone fasted. Fasted beads. Gray and... I'd say more of a grayish silver and a... Bronzy gold. Very pretty beads. Bag it. Um, Never mind. In the middle of a knot here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> don't bag it. Just keep on what you're doing. I'm getting it. I'm going to show these while you're doing some untangling. We're going to get this stuff out of your way. Let's do this. Here's a little pendant. Very pretty. There's the back. Very unusual. I like that. And I believe this is glass. You can see the cutting here. I don't see any marks on it though. I'm looking. But no markings. We have this little kitty bracelet. And it's got little, oh, little owls. Huh. Goes in the kids' lot. Little owls? Little owls. Oh, that's beyond. <laughs> Ooh, me? <laughs> Real pretty silver tongue link bracelet. It's magnetic. Nowhere on the metal. I'm going to try to keep it that way by putting it in a little bag. Next one is this brass looking one with the turquoise coral and the different colors look. Very pretty and very ornate. Like that. I don't see any marks. Let's see what this one is. I see some marking in here. LS. Got little rhinestones in here. Leah Sophia, maybe. This looks like something she would make. Very cute. All the rhinestones are there. 
Very nice little bracelet. Keep it covered up so it doesn't get marked up. Earrings to the side. Mm -hmm. Oops, what's that? Those are some loose broken chains that were. Yeah, tested. very nice. Yes. That's why I put them over there put by them themselves. Right. Okay. Is all that earring? Yes. Okay. More earrings. Okay, here's bracelets. Little fasted prong set in silver tone. Black. Yeah. And now this is cute. Very cute. Here's the back. I think these are like, um, oh, what do I want to say? Sequins. They're so very thin. They make they are made to look like the Hishi beads. These are very little white lightweight dangles here. Very magnetic. Very cute bracelet for the summer. This is a link with the Christmas theme for a stretchy bracelet that's going in the bead pile. <clears throat> Here's another chain, large oval and circle, polished chain necklace. Let's see if it's magnetic. It is. It's in pretty good shape. I don't see hair on it. So we're going to bag it. Well, leave them for me if you don't feel like doing them. Oh, I'm getting it. It's just... Well, you do better if you lay it on the table and do this. Well, it's wrapped around inside a, um, a cross thing. Just telling you. I know, but I take a, an earring and I do that to separate the knot. Okay, but, honey. Thank you for the suggestion, huh? Here's the lobster claw class, an extender. And these are olive-looking... Some are transparent, some are opaque. Little acrylic beads, very pretty. Let's see if we can get the light to come in. So that you can see how pretty that is. Nothing's missing. It's just beautiful. Love that olive green color. Okay, I'll let you play with it and I'll bag that for you. Oh. <laughs> We're going to put it on pause for a minute. Okay, that took me less than 30 seconds. <laughs> About 15 seconds. I know, that was bad, isn't it? Yeah, that was I'm bad. bragging. Cute little ID type bracelet. And it is magnetic. It's in good shape underneath. It's kind of a gray taupe color. Has a nice look on the arm. I can get it on. Yeah. There we go. It's pretty. Here's the little necklace. Those look like blue topaz or aquamarine. Mm -hmm. You'll have to test it later on. And there's some markings on it. We could test it now. <laughs> and it says S925. On the cross and the chain, I believe is also marked 925. Yes, it is 925 Italy. So we will bag that and test it. 
these are the little tiny one and a half inch an inch by one and a half inch no one and a half inch by two inches I like to get these real tiny bags too and we have another match oh, on earrings gosh those are pretty so we'll be testing the stone and the, making sure this is sterling Wow, those are gorgeous. Aren't they, though? I'm ready for a night, out, night on the town. Looks like our cruise is going to be canceled at the end of April. Isn't that beautiful? Very pretty. There we go. Oh, you must have it over there now. No complete earrings? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to start with another bucket because I got. Is it overflowing? I think it's to the top. Okay, well, I can start it over here. Okay. I have plenty of empty. Are they full, Are they completed earrings? Yeah, see? Oh, it's, oh, it's very empty. Okay. Yeah, it's very empty. making us all kinds of money from different and countries. No, I'm talking from different countries, unfortunately. <laughs> this is pretty. It's got this little disc here with stones. Here's the back. There's a cutout. Making me think these might be diamond. That this might be gold. <clears throat> One can wish. Let's see if there's anything on this. Nope. Not that I can see. Let's see if it's magnetic. Yeah, it's magnetic. It's a cute little necklace, though. I would like to keep it out and test it. And fix it. Okay. I'm just going to put it in my stash over here. See what I come up with. Here's another real thin gold piece. It's not magnetic. It looks like it's gold. Maybe you can help me bag for a minute. I'll get some of the stuff out of your way. Okay. Let's see what we have here. Yeah, it has no clasp. A lot of times people would take necklaces like that and just take the clasp because that's where all the weight is. So I'm going to be testing that for gold. That looks like it. it's tarnished. It's got this little coin on it, 20 cent. Smart 2000. RF, whatever that is. Euros. A little, pretty little flower. Flower is not magnetic. I want to test it. I have a pretty pearl. This is these are freshwater pearls. It's kind of ratty here. I might put that in the bead lot over here. I'm straining. That's pretty. Faceted black beads, lobster claw clasp with an extender. There's nowhere on the chain or brace or necklace. Needs to be wiped down. The back of it looks like brand new. 
The next one is this necklace. It's got this hook. Seed beads. And basket beads. And they feel cold. Very pretty. That's not magnetic. Or it wasn't for me. It's got something on the glass. I don't know. It looks like the brand name. Fossil. Oh. A fossil necklace. Okay. Little charms. Key in the heart and the fossil oh. tag. Very cute little necklace. Looks good on both sides, so you don't have to figure out which side to wear it on. I think that side is the best, though. And you said it's not magnetic, huh? No, it wasn't for me. Nope. Well, that's interesting. It's got fossil on the there, and it's got the tag. That's nice. I'm going to check it, honey. <clears throat> I don't know if fossil makes sterling. Well, they would probably mark it as such, but we'll check it. Put it over there in the hopeful box. Not magnetic. Not magnetic. A little turtle. A little... Um, rhinestones, I think. I'm not sure. Might be just a little metal beads. It's on a snake chain. It's got an extender with a bead and a lobster claw clasp. I don't see any sign, though, that it says it's sterling. But nothing, like you said, is magnetic. It's could be silver over copper. Yeah, I have to test it. I believe that's definitely the case with the turtle. And those are faceted silver beading in that. That makes it look like it has little stones around it. And the snake chain. I'll do it for you. Okay. Wow, that's pretty. This has a very, um, it's got tarnish on it or a little wear, but it has the rose gold look. It has no clasp. So you can see the wear, but it's still got that rose gold look to it, especially on the pendant. The chain is more discolored around the neck area, which seems to be the place that they like to become discolored if you wear them on your skin. And there's the hammered pieces. Very cute. Now, the hammered piece is in great shape. It's not tarnished at all. That's pretty. Here, bag it. Mm -hmm. That's an old... Tarnished, missing some rhinestones. Pretty. Wow, wee. It was a pendant, but. No, it was a pen, honey. Yeah, a pen, but it's missing the pen. It's missing some. Still neat, though. This looks tarnished underneath. But it's gold tone in color. Definitely needs some cleaning. It's a very pretty bird pen. The beak has some wear on it. I'd like to see what that looks like cleaned up. 
I'll probably save that to go on a, one of my picture things for artwork. Put that in my tray over there. We have a little shell necklace. Look at those little tiny shells. I would have been thrilled to find those on the beach. Doesn't take much. Cute. Oh, these are nice. These are freshwater pearl. And they're in that gray color. Almost like the peacock color. And they are so smooth. Really nice toggle. Has a little place where a stone was right there that's come out. I think it's in on the other side. No, I think it's taken out on that side too. It's too bad. Pearls. Very smooth. So you can see the peacockish color. These probably need to be wiped down some. Probably been well loved. Now, let's see. This is not magnetic. It's chain here is magnetic. These are beautiful. Very pretty. You can bag those up. Okay. This is an interesting piece. These are, again, we have some freshwater pearls. And these are actual quartz. It looks like Rudolet quartz. Very cold. These are glass, or either some kind of quartz. Very pretty. This chain looks very, um, you didn't finish a knot in it something. Yeah. Sorry. Me too. <laughs> eh. This looks copper. The chain on this looks copper. And I hope it is because it's got all these beautiful stones on it. I get to talking too low and I apologize for that. You probably can't hear a word I'm saying at times. Like I'm talking to myself. What in the world? While you're doing that, can I put this in the bead lot? If they're come undone and they're all over the place, oh, yeah, beads. but put them in a bag. Okay. Yeah. Because they'll tangle everything. Yeah. In the bead. I mean, they'll just be all over the place. Oh, yeah. Okay, it's not tangled up. It's connected by this little jump ring. So that it's like a little circle like that. And here's a chain. Lobster claw. Yeah, the chain is not magnetic. This is copper. This little spring ring here that's holding those chains together, though, is magnetic. This is beautiful. This is metal, too. And that's probably pure copper. Let's see what that is. Maybe it's not pure copper. It's 
not magnetic. It might have a copper wash on the top of it. Or that could be aluminum, I guess. There's just a little bit of silver coming through here. See that? This is beautiful. I love the styles on it. Y'all get a good look at that. Everything's cold. Nice little dyed colored pearls. Okay, you want to bag it? Mm -hmm. Ooh, this is a statement piece. Statement piece for sure. Got a toggle clasp, and we're gonna pick it up. And see what happens. See which way everything turns. Wow. Oh, here we go. I thought something was fishy. Oh man. I didn't do it. Yeah, you did. It was <laughs> still not. Didn't do it. You did. Yes, you did. No, you didn't. There we go. Now we got some distance there. And we have some crisscross going on. I guess it's supposed to be crisscrossing. No. Oh, you rascal. What's the matter, honey? Oh, nothing. It's just... This is a different one. I'm just trying to get these to see the way it actually is supposed to hang. It's giving me a fit. Alrighty, you're losing. I'm going to put this in the bag too. It's losing stuff. Ooh. Okay, just hold it. Bring it over here. That is 